Yeah. All right, so we've established that we have MIDI. We can see MIDI input here. We can see visual indicators here. There's visual indicators here of MIDI passing through, but say no audio. The first thing I want you to take a look at is this master fader. If it's down, I have all the visual indicators in the world, but no audio. Same thing with, by the way, if you hit option click, it'll take it right, right to zero, just like logic. Same thing with the main outputs. Now the distinctions between these two outputs we'll get into later, but there's one little hidden piece that you might not see. There's a mute on this master fader right here. And if I hit this master mute up here, it's muted. If I have it muted there, it's unmuted. It can be hidden behind the reveal button. So check those two things, master mute. But in the rough and tumble world of, hey, I have MIDI but no audio and the gig starts in two minutes, the first thing I would do, the very first thing I would do is make sure that Airport, iChat, and Time Machine are off. Of course, I would make sure that every app is off except for MainStage. But these three in particular have been known to cause a loss of audio. It's happened to me as well. So Airport, iChat, Time Machine off. The second thing I would do is launch iTunes right away and see if I can hear sound out of iTunes. If I can, it's not the computer, it's not the interface, it's something in main stage. And the main stage does have audio preferences. So I go main stage, preferences. And I have an audio tab here. And it's very self-explanatory. I can quickly change from Soundflower, just pretend that Soundflower is my interface live. And I can go right to the built-in output uh, jerk a pair of headphones right into there and see if main stage gives me sound. Okay, so that's the other thing. Then you also, I want to show you within Audio MIDI setup, remember it's in the Applications Utilities folder, I'm just going to get to it this way now. Um, there's an audio tab. We were in MIDI and now we're in audio. This represents all the interfaces that are tied to this computer. Okay, so that's something to check. In the next session, we are going to look at the nuances of wiring a laptop rig and some of the problems that you may uh, run into in that setting. Alrighty.